Okay, I got a few pieces of free draw paper from the recycling bin. It doesn't matter if anything is written on them, but you want them to be thin paper like our free draw paper. And I'm going to crumple three of them into this little bouquet of paper and then fold over one edge. I'm going to take another piece and kind of wrap it around and fold over the opposite edge of that piece. Now, I can tape as I go. That way it's easier to hold so I'm just gonna put a little piece of tape at the bottom and then I'm gonna work on folding the other edge as well. Now I made a smaller bag of chips so that I didn't use too much paper and your bag of chips can be bigger. So that would include grabbing maybe a few more pieces of paper or wrapping around some more tape. So I'm just going to tape the edge closed. That way it is not open and I can't see the paper. And I decided to do one more fold because it didn't feel quite thick enough to be a bag of chips. Again, this is just how I made my bag of chips. You can play around with it and make your bag of chips however you feel fit. So I'm going to wrap my tape around the entire bag of paper. That way I don't see paper anymore because I want the same texture along the entire thing. I don't want to have paper texture and tape texture. So then I'm taping the top. And I added a little bit more tape at the one end because it felt a little thinner than the other end. And I'm going to crumple it a little bit in the middle. You can see my Funyun bag of chips complete. I'm going to start with the details of a Dorito bag. So the kind of triangle that goes in the middle, I'm going to paint that first. That way I do not have to wait on the background to dry. So instead of painting the whole thing red first... I'm going to paint these orange details and then paint around that with my red so that I don't have to wait on the red to dry to paint the details. So I'm painting that background and then the little Doritos at the bottom, adding in some darker orange to the Doritos so they look maybe a little more realistic because remember the goal is to fool people and make them think this is a real bag of Doritos. Adding in my black in the middle of my square with a smaller paintbrush. And I'm not going to work on the letters yet. I'm going to leave that for last, but I'm going to do a few more details on the Doritos at the bottom to, again, make them look a little more realistic. And now I'm going to start painting with the red background. Now, it's a little tricky to paint 3D objects, and especially one with as many cracks and bends as our crumpled pieces of paper so make sure you're using enough paint and scribbling in those hard to reach places because you don't want to see any white peeking out you don't want to have any tape left showing you want everything to be covered in paint that way it looks as most realistic as you can make it so I'm carefully painting around those details that I painted first I don't want to accidentally cover my chips or that triangle at the top and I'm also painting the bottom and the back because real chip bags are not just colorful on one side. So if I need to let a little bit dry before I paint the rest, that's okay. But again, I'm painting this as quickly as possible so I can finish this up for you and you can get started. Again, making sure I fill all of the cracks and dents in my paper bag. Don't want to leave any white showing. When we're ready to add the letters, I have some fancy paint pens for us to use. Now we're going to use them gently, but you also have the option of painting the words on there as well if that's easier for you. The paint pens will probably make it easier though, so I would advise using the paint pens. Once my bag is completely dry, I can grab my paint pens and start adding in my letters. So in between colors, I either changed brushes or washed out my brush really well. And this is now dry. I'm going to take my paint pens. For them to start working, I kind of have to press them down. And I can help you and show you how to do that as well. So I pressed it down on my messy mat. And then I'm going in with my Dorito letters. Now this has to be done on a completely dry bag of chips. So if you painted probably today at all, you're not going to have time to use a paint pen on top because your bag's not dry. 